Hey everybody, this is not a spring trick. <laughs> not a spring chick. Yes, trick or treat. Okay, who might show up? Well, of course, um, when it comes to Halloween, okay, I guess some people like oh, Bill O'Reilly from Fox's Discovery. What was it? Was that a trick or was it a treat? He, he's still not quite certain. You know, let's just say he's discovering that Obama is not quite who he thought he was. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans! Well, in reality, this time it is all over for the Republicans. <laughs> the Republican Party leadership that gave you McCain and Romney, because it seems like that they're running, and I watched last night, they said, we're not running these campaigns, that running these spots over and over again to go after the president. We're going running these spots to go after McCain and Romney and their supporters, because we told everybody that this was going to happen, and you people said it wasn't going to happen. You are reason, okay, the reason why Obamacare exists is because the party leadership would not support the people in the country to kill it. They said when you had an opportunity like Count Dracula to stick a heart through it, you basically let it survive. And Obama doubled down on Obamacare. I know. He's Should that be a surprise? It's a surprise to Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly has been two days. Well, it's, it's all over for him. He can't recover from it. Uh, he just simply blamed it on the insurance co company, uh, on Republicans and their cronies in the insurance company. Even though Karen Sabita, so what was the minimum that you that was written by the president's people? Uh, in conference with the member, with nobody in the House, since nobody in the House leadership knew what they said, was it one? No, it wasn't one dollar. If there was a five dollar change in a policy, it was no longer grandfathered. He said, uh, you know, that they change the policies every year, mm -hmm. and uh, it meant that the president knew there was no grandfather. But they, what they were going to offer was so much better than. Oh, did you know that the reason why? The insurance companies are canceling the things is because they cannot compete with Obamacare in cost, even though the new insurance policy cost three to five thousand dollars more than the one they were selling. Uh, yep. And despite high tech arms, war requires group <laughs> True. I knew she intended to do that. <laughs> I absolutely knew that was the intention all along. Monty, you just love going through the She goes she's blind and she walks through the legs of the the tripod would you not just love do doing that. Yeah. And despite high tech arms, war requires group ground troops, army chief. Well, because high tech warfare. Okay, anybody see the episode of Star Trek where basically they've decided a, a civilized way of fighting war? They just simply put people in a disintegrator and kill them. Well, that doesn't happen in real life. In real life. If you fire something, okay, right now the president is being, they're going to put the president on trial for war crimes because of his, uh, his, his uh, drone warfare. They're saying that 97% of the people that are hit by his drones are civilians and 3% are the bad guys. And he's, well, they're people. Well, I doubt that's for real. Well, they're going to have an Academy Award winning, the documentary on his drone strikes was more than likely going to win an Oscar which means that they're really not happy with this guy in the White House anymore. And U.S. nuclear arms overhaul needed to ensure reliability, officials. Well, you know, because the president, oh, Herbie Daddy says it was the president's people. Anybody paid any attention? He's been removing the general staff, uh, all the general staff, and putting his butt kissers in. And they now have determined it's too expensive to overhaul the nuclear weaponry. We need to start shutting down our nuclear capability you know, because we cannot afford to maintain the equipment now. Mm. Steve Jobs, California Homes, gets historic designation. Uh, if you can't get people that are the founders of, of uh, historical significance, homes listed historically, how do they get a, how do they get a miserable place by Steve Jobs listed? I thought usually most of the historic designations had to be like almost an architectural wonder. Or it had to be some place like the Beach Boys home where, okay, Steve Jobs did not do his work at that home. It's which where he was born, for Christ's sake. Oh, is that really the one? Because I would have thought the one where he did the work. No, but this is like the Beach Boys recorded the music in their garage. That's why it's historically significant. It was done in the garage. And then, like the... Uh, what was it? Uh, Menlo Park. The, uh, let's see, uh, my grandmother was with 
with, um, with Thomas Anderson, it was in a stupid barn. The barn is of historical significance because history was made in that barn. There was no history made in that house except that's where he lived. And White House on offense on all fronts. Oh yeah, they're they're condemning the Republicans. They're condemning well, what you they're, they're condemning CNN, NBC, the New York Times, the Washington Post. Any publication that publishes the truth is now being condemned as part of a right wing conspiracy to destroy the first black president. And Apple declares unexpected profits and stock drops. Because nobody bought it. Absolutely nobody bought this something. Okay, what did Herbie Daddy said? They're reporting record sales on a device they stopped ordering on because no one wanted to buy it. Mm -hmm. uh, they think that what happened was Apple took some of the $198 billion they have in reserve, bought a whole bunch of their stock, and then tried to boost the stock prices, and the market didn't buy it. And can Snowden revert privacy to a social norm? <laughs> yeah, because basically it means that um, uh, if you get caught, okay, here, Kirby Daddy said they used to say that history is written by the victors. History now is written by the people that have access to it online. Because you can basically, once the truth is out there, it can never be removed. And LG gives Android the cold shoulder with a new Fireweb phone. I know, it is basically, I don't like Mozilla, folks, and that's why it basically, it's, a, it's, their, it's their system, and you can't have multiple operating systems on cell phones because they're, they're, right now they have, multi, they have the um, Apple, they have the Android, they have the Windows and adding another one that no one's going to buy. No one's buying the Windows, no one's going to buy the Mozilla system either. Oh, is that what the Fireweb is? Yeah, it's nothing um, more than a Mozilla operating system. And six people shot dead in South Carolina dis dom uh, domestic dispute. Oh, and, and they were all liberal Democrats, my concern. Well, I heard the news right off. Well, once again, conservatives and their guns. No, it happened to be a, a it happened to be people that were very much Obama supporters, would support health care on their lawns, mm. and very black. And China's anti-pollution drive was running out of gas. Uh, you can't walk. The, the, the basically. They have stopped filming in, uh, in Peking because you can't see in front of you with the cameras to film anymore. And remember, they cleaned it up for the Olympic game by stopping all traffic and industry for a, a, was it a month before the games in order to make the air look decent. Oh, and Florida's Attorney General challenges medical marijuana initiative. Because it's, 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 un it's illegal. I mean, okay, Herbie Daddy says, Wait till the first airliner is crashed into the ground because of a pilot is on marijuana. There is no laws to break. There is no uh, in a state. If if Colorado says it's legal, a pilot can get on an airplane and fly it out of the state of Colorado because there's no laws to prevent you from drunk drive, from marijuana driving, from marijuana flying, from marijuana boating. None at the moment. And Hawaii gay marriage bill is approved in the Senate. The Hawaiians are conservative, for Christ's sake. It may have a democratic government, but Hawaiians are traditionally conservative. They don't believe in gay rights. They don't believe in any of this stuff, and yet they're going to force it down the throats of everybody in the state of Kaplan, Hawaii. And Yellowstone's killer hazard, earthquakes, not eruptions. Well, yeah, because there's a, they, can have a, they have earthquakes all the time, but a super, a super volcano is something that can happen once in a zillion years, but they have earthquakes every day. And Obama approval seems to new low. Yeah, and it's all over Obamacare. Everybody, everybody <laughs> but Bill O'Reilly knows that he's been lying. Mayoral politics threaten NYC horse carriage rides. Yeah, okay, the new, the new mayor is a left-wing liberal who <laughs> supports PETA. He supports ordering people, uh, changing of behavior attitudes, and he basically supports, you know, they said, Okay, Chuck Schumer said this guy is going to damage the state, of, going to damage the city of New York if he's elected. And he, they love this guy so much he's got a 40% lead over the Republican because they want, they, the left-wing liberals in New York want everybody forced out of the state of New York. And Russia denies G20 gifts were used for spying on delegates. Okay, they gave everybody USB drives that basically uh, can be used like any USB drive. You can basically transmit information. Oh, God. There's nothing unusual about what they did. And first of all, oh, what did Herbie Daddy say? 
Did anybody open up those boxes? Not a single person opened up a box because they, they take the gifts that these guys give and then put them, have ten of them over somebody else, and they bring them back for storage. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, that's, uh, if you don't take care of an injury before it gets serious, it gets worse. <laughs>